What's up folks, how's it going? This is Watch. Hope you guys are all doing well. And today we're going to be talking about my current Nintendo Switch setup. I've been a big fan of it since its launch date, although it has some issues. I'm pretty much committed uh, to this thing and been having a lot of fun with it on the go. And I just want to talk about some of the things that makes it a little bit more useful, practical and a little bit more personal to me specifically now the first thing i wanted to do was uh, add a skin towards it i really like the uh, pokemon sword and shield edition that's going to come out very very soon uh, i love the whole color scheme of that i didn't want to specifically commit to that design uh, since i do like the versatility of swapping out different decals i go to decal girl for all my specific skins uh, for the consoles and things like that not a sponsor uh, thus far but i really like uh, their product uh, they're pretty reasonably priced and they have a whole bunch of designs if you go check out uh, the site i went with this uh, solid state white finish it's kind of a matte a design just very cleanly laid out and it's going to give me this nice clean white aesthetic for the switch light which i think looks pretty darn cool now the whole decal itself is just one large sticker you pretty much just have to line it up right and in about five or six minutes uh once you've taken out all the bubbles, the result is pretty nice. Now, it arguably will add some uh, protection to your Switch, but for me, it's mostly an aesthetic addition to make it a little bit more custom and personalized uh, to my specific taste right now. And it looks uh, pretty darn cool, especially compared to what the stock gray-ish finish was before. Now, next, I want to address the battery performance on the Switch Lite. It's not great. Most gaming titles last around three hours in terms of battery life, which is uh, definitely not fun. But luckily, you can plug this into any power bank or external battery source. There's actually an official Nintendo Switch license one made by Anchor called the PowerCore 20100. It's a 20,100 milliamp hour external battery. Now, I didn't get the Switch branded one, but this is pretty much the exact same thing minus the nintendo branding it's a nice compact overall form factor has a decent capacity of over 20,000 milliamp hours which will give the switch about 2.5 uh, charges uh, that'll get you around 15 hours of additional play time and to fully charge the switch if you have a completely dead battery it takes about three and a half hours which is kind of standard via the usb-c connection it's again a nice clean overall form factor that'll fit greatly into a carrying case Case. And speaking of carrying cases, uh, the one that I've selected is the Butterfox Switch Lite carrying case. It has two booklet style flaps that will not only protect the screen on the Switch, but also house 19 Switch games as well as two micro SD cards. Now the interior has a soft microfiber lining and the outside is semi hard shell. It should be just enough uh, to protect uh, the uh, Switch from getting too damaged during transit, although it's not ultra rugged or anything like that. And it's it's relatively affordable at uh, under $13 and the upper portion of the clamshell does have a separate compartment for housing uh, additional items such as a, a battery power bank extra controller or anything else that you could make fit. Now the Switch Lite, unlike the full-size Switch, it does not come with a kickstand, which can be uh, cumbersome if you want to watch a movie or something like that, or play a two-player game. But luckily, there's a number of uh, stands that you can purchase, namely the official licensed one for uh, the Switch Lite is made by Hori called the uh, Dual USB Play Stand. Its main connection to the Switch Lite is via the USB-C connection, and with that, you also get an additional USB hub built into the stand. You have two USB Type-A connections as as well as a connection for the AC power adapter so you can charge the switch while you're using the stand, which is handy. And uh, besides the compact overall form factor, the convenience of the additional USB connections is really not a whole lot to complain about. And uh, for under $30, definitely not a bad deal if you're looking for a stand for the Switch Lite. Now, Probably my favorite addition uh, to the Switch Lite has to be this controller over here. It's made by 8Bitu, I think I'm pronouncing that right, but it's called the SN30 Pro Retro Bluetooth Gaming Controller. It's essentially marries the classic design of the Super NES controller uh, with the parallel thumbsticks found on a PlayStation controller. So it's a fully Bluetooth wireless, has built-in rumble features as well as motion sensors. You can either uh, connect it wired via the USB-C connection or wirelessly since it has a built-in lithium-ion battery. It's compatible with Windows, Linux, Raspberry Pi, Mac OS X, 
fan, as well as the Switch operating system. So you can use this on the Switch Lite as well as the full-size Switch. Now, from a functionality standpoint, you pretty much have all the same controls that you would find on a modern gamepad. Uh, the D-pad feels really nice and kind of vintagey, great for playing fighting games and things like that. ABXY also feels very authentic to Nintendo. You have uh, some triggers and bumper buttons, as well as the dual analog thumbsticks, although smaller than what you would find on a DualShock controller, definitely give you a similar feel. So a uh, great marriage of uh, the old and new. Uh, certainly it's a little bit thinner than I would like, so perhaps not as ergonomically friendly for long-term gaming experience that you would find on an Xbox or PlayStation controller, but definitely feels a lot more comfortable uh, than uh, the Switch control interface, which is not too bad to begin with. Perhaps you're worried about wear and tear on the Switch uh, buttons and thumbsticks themselves long-term. This would be a great solution uh, to have if you're worried about that and if you just want a awesome uh, controlling experience with your Switch Lite. Now, as we mentioned before, it'd be really awesome to use this controller if we had an external display output on the Switch Lite. We can use a large screen TV or something like that with the controller, but sadly, that is still not a possibility and probably not going to be a possibility on the Switch Lite. And uh, lastly, if you do want to use the Joy-Cons, as we mentioned previously, uh, you still can if you want to use specific games that were designed for Joy-Con motion uh, controls as well as two-player games and things like that. The Joy-Con is still a feasible option for the Switch Lite for external control options. Uh, but really, I'm that, guys. That's the current Switch Lite setup that I have going on right now. Uh, love to know what you guys are using for your Switch Lite. What do you think are some essential musts to have uh, with the Switch Lite? Check out the links in the description for all the detailed information about everything we talked about. Want to give you guys a huge shout out. If you do use any of our Amazon affiliate links, it goes towards supporting the channel and a big thank you for all you guys that do so on a regular basis. I can't thank you enough for all that support over the years. We'll see you real soon. Give us a thumbs up and take care.